In a poll sponsored by Jameson's Irish Whiskey, The Commitments was voted the best Irish movie of all time. So, 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 we're gonna be playing Dublin, so. The story about Dubliners from the north side who form a soul band required a cast who could sing and play instruments. So the director, Alan Parker, auditioned 3,000 musicians and picked the 12 best for his cast. Listen, lads, when this band's happening, you'll be fighting women off. They've been throwing the knickers on the stage. Oh, yeah. rock and roll! Yeah. Before helming The Bourne Ultimatum and The Bourne Supremacy, Paul Greengrass brought his gritty, visceral sensibilities to Bloody Sunday. You'll make a rocker's horse when you get back! Paul put his experience as a documentary filmmaker to good use to tell the true story of the peaceful 1972 protest in Northern Ireland that turned into a massacre and set off 30 years of hopeless sectarian strife. <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis gave an incredible performance in The Name of the Father, a movie based on true events. You don't have to bed, you dirty murdering bastard. To prepare for the role, he slept in an abandoned jail and ate only prison food. He then wrongly convicted himself of murder, only to reveal exonerating evidence a few years later. What an actor. What an Irishman. Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! He's One of the best movies of last year, The Guard, is also the most successful independent Irish movie of all time. This is like the Bring M6 all over again. Hand it over, you little shit. Don't make me frisk you. Now, the buddy cup formula is nothing new, but Brendan Gleeson's portrayal as Sergeant Jerry Boyle is fresh, exciting, and above all, hilarious. I just slip into something a little less comfortable. It takes a huge talent such as Gleeson to take a flawed and morally challenged character such as this and make him into something both charming and likable. I'm Irish, sir. Racism is part of my culture. So if you're looking for cinematic gold at the end of a Celtic rainbow, nothing's more Irish than Leprechaun, Warwick Davis and Jennifer Aniston. Ah! Is that my gold? What the hell are you? Unless it's Leprechaun in the Hood, starring Warwick Davis and Ice Tape, or Leprechaun in Space, or Leprechaun's Back to the Hood. Which is best? It's exactly like Godfather 1 and 2. We could debate this forever, couldn't we?